Woke up this morning on our last day. Be out here to try to catch another white shark. Hopefully this is the day the mail comes in. For our last day, you can ask for a better day. Yep, just picking it up right now. Tell me when you want me to start him. Okay, I start him. Oh, he's on it, he's on it right there. Yeah. So the you got the smoke problem here, he's okay. A little out of breath. Caught us off guard there. But everything seems to be going pretty good right now. Seemed like a pretty solid fish. Yeah. I'm gonna get a look at it here, fellas, real quick. Safe boat, safe boat, safe boat. Contender Gallo, you copy? Looks like it could be our first, you know, male North Atlantic white shark here in history here. Could be, could be a really big force. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is the first male in history of the Northwest Atlantic. It will make all the female tracks make sense. Beautiful little male, our first one. Caught us off guard there, and uh, you know, not a giant, but a nice little healthy male. We got the weather, we got the tide, paid off. This is a big moment right here for the study over here, getting the male tag, and all the work done on it, the whole work up including the DNA, and it uh, looks like possibly sperm. I never knew if we were going to have a chance to do this before, but I'm going to name this shark George after my father George. It's impossible for anyone to understand what he's done to uh, enable this. He's helped us keep this operation going. I never dreamed that the first white shark in Northwest Atlantic history would be able to be named after my father. My, this is George for everyone to follow and hopefully he'll cross paths with Mary Lee out there somewhere and George and Mary Lee will show us how to look after the rest of the white sharks in the North Atlantic. Yeah.